Well, Mr. Noble had what we call an out-of-hospital cardiac arrest. When this situation occurs, it's very serious. In fact, only one out of 10 people that this occurs to out of the hospital setting survive. My name is Tyler Richmond. I'm a interventional cardiologist at Baptist Health. What happens in a cardiac arrest is some people may have no symptoms whatsoever and then develop uh, an arrhythmia of the heart, which is life-threatening. In his case, he was uh, shooting three pointers one minute and then literally was laying on the ground the next. The last thing I remember is the ball was being passed to me and I got real dizzy and I said, just a minute, fellas, and I remember falling to the floor. The next thing I remember is hearing press, 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 and it's the defibrillator telling the person doing CPR to give me chest compressions. And I do recall afterwards, uh, one of the fellows that, that did CPR on me said, I looked at your son and I knew I had to do something. Once Roy was picked up by the EMS service, he was taken directly to the cath lab at Baptist Health Lexington. Uh, Roy actually had two blockages, one that he had had for a while and been doing fine with, but the other blockage was a more critical blockage of a major artery, which uh, we were able to open up with a balloon and place a stent to keep it open. I saw Roy last week in the office and he is back to playing basketball. He's having no more chest pain and uh, he's living a very active lifestyle. According to the doctor, I died. Had it not been for the AED and the quick action of the people that worked on me in the gym and the quick response from the first responders, and then had it not been for the good care of Baptist Health, I would not be here today.